Thousands of years ago, in ancient Egypt, the Third Dynasty followed a period when Egypt was divided into a southern and a northern kingdom. The central authority was firmly established over the entire country. The transition of the early dynasty period into the Old Kingdom was mainly due to the architectural achievements of this dynasty. The Fourth Dynasty is mostly well known for its enormous building projects. Senefru, the first king of this dynasty, who led the building of monumental pyramid complexes, it seems to have been abandoned towards the end of that dynasty. He at least converted the steep pyramid of Maidum into a real pyramid. He also built the Red Pyramid and Bent Pyramid at Dahshur. It is thought that the pyramid at Maidum has long time been credited to Huni, the last king of the Third Dynasty. But as Huni's name has never been found near that monument, it is thought that it was built by Snefru as well. In any case, the largest mass of pyramids was built during the reign of Snefru. At the end of the Third and the beginning of the Fourth Dynasty, there was a high official, his name is Ra Hotab. He was the physical son of the king. This piece of information was based on his titulary. However, all Egyptologists do not accept that. They assume that Ra Hotab's father was Snefru, the founder of the fourth dynasty. This is because of the placement of his mustaba at Maidum. On the other hand, it is thought that his father was Huni, the last king of the third dynasty. This is because of the fact that Rahotep's tomb was located at Maidum. Despite the absence of Honi's name at the Maidum cemetery, Honi has been assumed to have been the builder of the collapsed pyramid at this site. It was also thought that the title Physical Son of the King was just honorific. Also, it does not mean that Rahotep was a king at all. On the other hand, his mother's name was unknown. From Rahotep's titulary, it is shown that he had held several offices in the civil administration, in priesthood and in the military. He got also many titles like Unique Chief of Seers at Heliopolis, Chief of the Whole, Keeper of the Aim Scepter, Eldest of the Palace, Great Unique One at the Place of the Beer Measures, Great One of the City of P, Overseer of the Transporters, General, and Controller of the Ushers. His wife was Nofret. She was part of the royal entourage because she bore the title known to the king, and this happened through her marriage with Prince Rahotep. Rahotep and Nofret had several children, the princes Jedi, Neferkau, and Idu, and the princesses Merit, Nedimib, and Sithtit. In 1871, two marvelously preserved seated statues of Rahotep and Nofret were discovered in their brick mastaba at Maidum. This was a very important evidence confirming their high rank. The same solemnness and self-assuredness were shown on the faces of the statues. The same was found on the royal statues of the same dynasty. The glass inlaid eyes and the statues' realistic sizes increased their realism. The statue of Rahotib measures 1.2 meter in height, Nofrit's 1.18 meter. More personal details like the Rahotep's moustache and the slight frown on his face, add to the impression that the statues were intended as idealized portraits. Rahotep is painted a reddish-brown color, while Nofrit is shown a creamy white. Egyptologists call this color difference between husbands and wives canonical, because it shows repeatedly in other statuary and wall decorations throughout Egypt. No one knows the reason. The most fantastic feature of the statues is that they both retain their lifelike inlaid eyes of crystal. The Egyptian workman who first opened the tomb was stunned when they saw them staring out. They looked alive in the torchlight of the dark tomb. The workman fled in terror.